it's Michelle Yu here on the blue carpet, and we've got celebrities here as we welcome actress Emily Mortimer and her lovely husband, Alessandro Novola. Did I say that correctly? Beautiful. Okay. Well, guys, I know you enjoy the U.S. Open. This is your first time here this year. I know you guys come here often. What do you love about the Open? Well, you know, Wimbledon and the U.S. Open are kind of the yin and yang of tennis. And we try to do the double whammy every year because my wife's English and I'm American. And, uh, you know, Wimbledon is just so beautiful and, and calm and quiet and gentle. And this is just so raucous and kind of uh, badass and, and very New York. And so uh, they're a perfect complement to each other. And this is a great way to kind of end the Grand Slam season. Well, Emily, are you a little bit torn because you're British, but you live in New York. Yes. So which Grand Slam do you enjoy more? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know. There's something that is something so amazing about Wimbledon um, and and going and and you know doing it right and having strawberries and cream and everything. But this feels like a real family tradition because it's always the end of the summer and we're always coming back from um, from out in Long Island where we have a little place and we're driving back and we and we're always together for some reason. We've got our kids here today and um, so it just feels more like a family tradition being here. And um, and Sandro has been watching the tennis just maniacally for the last week or so and uh, so I feel like I've been at the Open all, all week as it is so it's great to just be Who do you guys root for when you come to these events? Rafa. Oh, high five, Rafa. Yeah. You? Oh, I love Rafa. I really do. Although I was really sad about Roger. I felt very kind of, I don't know, heartbroken as, as, as a sort of as the older generation myself, I felt like he was flying the flag for people um, that, that aren't just sort of disgustingly young, but um, but he still is. He's still a champion. He Everyone will, will always be. love Ra yeah. uh, Rafa and Roger, yeah. I will say. Now, you guys love tennis. Do you play tennis? Uh, yeah, we do. In fact, uh, we, all of our family plays tennis, and this was the first year that my son has beaten me, so it was a kind of... Um, it was kind of a Roger Federer moment where <laughs> I've had, I'm having to pass the torch. Our son has been hitting at the local tennis club um, all summer, and so he's got just ri ridiculously much better than any of us. Does but this, I, the family play mixed doubles, maybe? No, he, I can barely get him to deign to play tennis with me. He's just, he's, I've, I've had about 20 years of lessons. I'm so unsporty and terrible at every kind of sort of organized physical activity, but I have just, just this summer, I got good enough that he, he sort of, it finds it acceptable to, to play with me, so I think I, I'm, 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 my aim is to beat him before I die. <laughs> All I right, have that's to live quite long. <laughs> Let's talk about work for you guys a little bit. You have a, a great project upcoming. I'm going to let you talk about it. Tell us what it is. Um, yeah, I just um, finished filming um, uh, the, the Sopranos sequel, which is a film called The Many Saints of Newark that Warner Brothers is putting out in um, around this time next year. And uh, David Chase, who created The Sopranos, wrote it. And it's about uh, a character who I play named Dicky Moltisanti, who is the father of Christopher Moltisanti, who is famously played by Michael Imperioli in the show. And he was uh, Tony Soprano's mentor uh, when Tony was a young man um, growing up in the late 60s and early 70s. And so it's set here in Newark uh, around the, you know, beginning in 1967 when the race riots sparked off there. And, and that provides the backdrop to the story. And, and it's about the relationship between Dickey and, and a young Tony Soprano. Sounds very cool. We look forward to that. And Emily, what about you? That we last saw you in the cinemas with Mary Poppins Returns. Yes. What's next? Um, well, I'm about to um, come out in a, a movie called Relic, which is a, a sort of a horror film about aging. Aging seems to be the theme of this conversation. My, my my end of the conversation. Um, and I did a, um, a TV show. My daughter keeps looking at me, going like that to put my chin up. <laughs> I did a TV show for um, for. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg has started this new um, platform called Quibi, which is very short uh, episodes, 10-minute episodes, and they're, and they're launching this whole thing in the spring, and I did one for that 
for that platform um, with Don Cheadle, me and Don Cheadle started in it. Um, and um, I, it was really cool, I really enjoyed it. So I hope, I don't know how it's gonna, how it's gonna go down, but it's a whole, the whole new, brave new world of, of television viewing. Um, it, and it's part of this, this new platform. Well, I love seeing you guys on the screen. I hope you guys have a great time at the US Open. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having Thanks us, for we're so excited. Us.